I think that game is on me. Uh, just didn't give enough energy, uh, kind of. Uh, so we got to do better. They won one game. Uh, we just got to focus on the next one. You know, a loss like this, it definitely stings. It definitely hurts. And you know, like I said to that question, it's a level of disappointment. But this is part of the competitive side of basketball too. Um, you know, you win some and you lose some. And we would have loved to close out on our uh, home floor. Sorry, fans, didn't happen. <laughs> you know, I think. Uh, you know, moving forward, uh, now we know this is just us getting to know one another in stressful environments like this. First time closing out to go to the NBA Finals. It's a new thing for us. So uh, I like to err on the side of just giving us grace, and um, you know, I'll take all the pressure that comes with this, and I'm used to it. Being aggressive, there ain't no time to have any doubts in your mind, especially at this time. It's game four. We down 3-0. There ain't no time to have any doubts. I'm going to go out there, be aggressive, uh, shoot my shot uh, like I've been doing all series, and, and um, be a confident every shot I shoot. What does just getting one mean to you, just to get on the board here and, and, and extend the series? We get another chance to get another one. Pretty simple. You told somebody in the hallway you were seeing for game six. What, where does that confidence come from? Um, what am I supposed to say? I'm supposed to say um, we're going to lose game five? No, I'm not going to never say that. Um, Michael Parsons, you know, he was rocking the AE1s, and I told him he wears size 14. I'll bring back some nice shoes for game six. That's what I told him. OK, so from now on, every Anthony Edwards press conference needs to take place with him standing up um, that was very Freddie Mercury using the whole <laughs> stand ish. Yeah. Just right. Like, you know, that was, that was great. I just right. it added right. to the effect. Like, you know, like right. I'm so relaxed right now. Like, yeah, sure. One more question on my way out. Like we coming back for game six. Yeah. Just like I told the locker room and he, folks in Denver and he had the mic coming back. Okay. He grabs it. He grabs the whole That's mic perfect. stand and then, and then lifts it up and then lifts it up to, to get it a little bit closer too. just the presence of mind. The presence of mind. You asked yesterday why we've crowned this kid so fast. That's why. Because he's a king. Okay? <laughs> he is a king. That is why we have crowned him. Because we really, really need this series to go as long as possible, if not the Wolves survive, so that we can get more Anthony Edwards. Having said that, did the Wolves simply stave off elimination, which sidebar, I don't know if I've ever said this to you before. There is no other context in American a world civilization in any stave. form of conversation in which we use the we never use the phrase stave off in any other stave. context other than an elimination yeah. game. They staved off elimination. Did they simply stave off elimination and avoid getting swept and prolong the inevitable? Or are we in for or, a long series? Um, well, a long series. Are we in for a long series. Okay, here we go. A long series. We know a, a sweep is not a long series. Five games is not a long series, no. but six games is. I'm 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 mm -hmm. with Anthony Edwards. Hey, Micah Parsons, I don't know what your situation is. Uh, I don't I don't know what your commitments are, but do you have tickets? Do you have tickets for Game Six? Because if you have tickets for Game Six, you need to use your Game Six tickets. There will be a Game Six, Michael Smith. There will be a Game Six in Dallas. So to answer that oh, question, I do one yes, better. I do one better. Six. Six and I seven games, that. long, five, four, short. Six long. Oh, you going, you gonna go there? You gonna go history? I'll answer you my touch I, on history. I'll answer my own question. I'll answer my own question. Well, we I mean we saw the Celtics force of seven last last year. I'll yep. answer my own question. I'll straddle the fence and answer my own question. Because <laughs> I think this series suggests that there's a there's a pattern here. And the pattern here is that every single one of these games is close in crunch time. In the final five minutes, it's a close game. It's really simple. The formula is whose stars step up in crunch time. In games one, two, and three, it was Kyrie and Luka. In game four, it was finally Cat and Anthony Edwards, okay? So it's going to come down to the last five minutes of game seven. I like, don't know who's who, going to win. I who cannot predict seven? whose shots will go through the basket. Seven. This will come down to the last five minutes of game seven in Minnesota. That's how this series is going to go. I told you yesterday. Remember, I picked the Mavs before the series. I told you yesterday that I thought the Mavs would close it out. But if they didn't, look out. They didn't mess around. The closers didn't close. And who in the hell left the gate open? They didn't left the door open for these Timberwolves to now win game five on their home floor. Another close game is going to come down to the last five minutes. 
winning game five on their home for floor and then come back feeling good about themselves in game six. See, the thing is, this isn't okay. Let's juxtapose this with the series that you knew was going to be a short series and you tried to told me was going to be a short series, which was Celtics Pacers. It was an entertaining short series and Very a, a hard fought short series close, but no. you always said that that the Celtics are the better team and I believe your words was it's not even close. It's, it's not right. even funny, right? Okay, they were the better right. team. That's not what we're seeing here. The Mavs won three the first three games, but the Wolves know and anybody who's been watching this series knows that the Mavs are not anywhere close to by far and away the better team. They've just been better down the stretch of more uh, three out of four games so far. Okay, the Wolves know that they can play with the Mavs. They know that they can beat the Mavs. They now know that they can beat the Mavs in Dallas. They right. know that they, they can win a game seven on the road if necessary. So they could certainly win a game that. six on the road if necessary. They've yeah. done that against the defending champion. These wolves have no fear. Shocker. They have no fear. They have no context. They, they, they were they were they were so comfortable. At least Anthony Edwards was from the jump, which is why. Okay, so here's the only stat that matters right now. They're three and oh this postseason and I mentioned all those games when facing elimination. Two of those se season extending wins have come on the road. Okay, so I have no doubt that they'll be the 16th team to push a series to game six. They'll win game five at the crib. So four teams, including last year's Celtics, have reached a game seven after falling down 3-0. Once it gets to game seven, which it will, Ooh. none of the stuff we're talking Ooh. about right now matters. History doesn't matter because they're you both said it facing will. the same situation. It's absolutely going seven. I, just, I knew this shit was going to happen if the Mavericks did not. You know, going his, seven. His, that is well, a strong and, statement. And, and I deserve it. And, and, I, and I deserve it. And I deserve it. No, you know what? No, that's not a strong statement. You know what's a strong statement? You know what's a strong statement, Michael? A what? strong what? statement is Kyrie Irving is the greatest offensive player that I've ever seen. A strong statement is that Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic are the equivalent of Miles Davis and John Coltrane. Yeah. Only for them yeah. fools to cancel a concert last night. Basically cancel. Like, like I could, a, a lot of my takes don't age well. Could you just give me a day? Could you just give me a day? I swear, if I want to keep working here, I got to stay off the drugs. Like, give me a day to not, like, Son. and then go 13 to 39. You wouldn't, you would, you wouldn't go 13 to 39 on the day when I'm singing your praises. It, okay, either, both of you. That was going to happen. And it, it, it allowed it, the Wolves back dude, into this series. It was going to happen. In, come it was on, either, come on. it was either, they, either they were both going to score 40 after that. I, I meant to say that yesterday. Either they both going to score 40 points, or it was going to be, a combined 13 for 39, what you see right there. But that being said, okay, that being said, no, that was a strong statement. But saying there's a game seven, that is a strong statement as well. Because I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna go to your hometown. If I had, if I had Winford, if, if I had Winton and Bradford Marcellus, throw in Ellis, okay on my side. If I had Robert Glasper and Christian McBride, if I had uh, okay. the, 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 okay. the late great, the late great Roy Hargrove and Antonio Hart together, I still wouldn't feel good about facing Miles and Coltrane. Now, if they are really Miles and Coltrane, if they were, and as I pointed out, Miles has some albums that weren't so hot. Coltrane, some Coltrane critics, on meditation said it sound like elephant music. I mean, look, they had their critics. They had off days, but when they were on hey, couldn't nobody touch them. So you mean to tell me if Kyrie Irving is miles, if Luca is Coltrane or vice versa, if that's true, that's fine. Last night, last night doesn't change it. They lost game four. No, at home. no, it they're, doesn't. No, no, up, it doesn't. They're up three no, games. Away. And no. I'll tell you something else. I don't regret anything. Let I me said. tell you something else. I don't hey, regret anything I said. Yeah, go you ahead. said Minnesota. Minnesota knows it can go to Dallas and win. Dallas says we've gone to Minneapolis One and St. Paul and St. No, no, Paul. No. This, this we've gone to both. We this won wasn't twice. A commentary. No, this wasn't Bring a commentary home. about. No, no, this was not a commentary about Dallas's inability to win in Minnesota. If Dallas, if Dallas won Game Five, I wouldn't be shocked. 
I would be shocked if Dallas won game five in any other fashion than a game that came down to crunch time and their stars executed. That's how close this series is. This series could end up 4-1, it could end up 4-2, whatever it ends up being will, will not truly represent. The final score, the final tally will not truly represent how close this series is, how closely matched and evenly matched these teams appear to be. It's really about which pair of stars shots go in at the end. And yesterday, talk about other strong statements, you were like, why is all the fuss? What's all the fuss about Anthony Edwards? He ain't that guy yet. He heard you. He's got he's gotten better and better and better and more efficient every single game. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, yes. Cat became a dog. Yesterday, yesterday, Cat was a dog when they needed him. He was that dog that they needed him to be when they needed him. Rudy Gobert had his moments. Like they, they act, they finally stepped up. Meanwhile, Miles and, Miles and Coltrane, a couple of notes were off. They were off. They were off for the first time in this series when it mattered. So if the Mavericks go into Minnesota and win it because Miles and Train show up and show out, I won't be shocked. What I am saying though is. That the, that the path is there. The path forward is right there. It was always there for Minnesota, which was just to get it back to Minnesota for five. It's going to be hard, but if they can win five, it really gets interesting. And now six is effectively the Mavs game seven. It's six, Ky closeout Kyrie gets a chance to rebound from his first closeout game loss in the postseason because if they don't it's, it's it's easy to see it. It's easy to see it playing out this way given how, how how tough Minnesota has played and just hasn't been able to close at the end. They finally broke through yesterday. Why can't they win five and six? Why can't they win five at home? Not far fetched. Why can't they win six in Dallas again and force a game seven? I'm not guaranteeing it. I ain't trying to be Charles Barkley out here. I'm not guaranteeing that it's going seven and again right. notice. I didn't say he was going to win game seven. I didn't say he was going to win game seven. Because in the final five minutes, well, who the hell knows? Ask Golden, ask Golden State, ask Kyrie Irving, ask the Warriors, ask the three, ask the three-one Warriors, Cavs. Who knew? Who knew that Game Seven was going to come know. down to what it came down right. to? I'm, not, I'm not trying to write that song. What I'm saying is the Mavs messed up. If I could boil everything I'm saying down to, to one statement, the Mavs messed up. They let the Wolves back in this series, and now they're going to have to get comfortable on back and forth flights. Because this, go this thing is going back to Minnesota not once but twice. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.